Hello, my friends. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm super excited about because I feel like I've been doing a ton of like showing you guys what I'm up to and what I'm doing and all that stuff. Obviously, I've been posting a lot of vlogs recently, but I haven't actually like, sat down and talked about how I'm doing, like any life updates and stuff like that in a fat minute. So I asked you guys to send me anything that you guys are curious about on Instagram and I'm going to go through and answer them for you guys. I'm excited because I feel like I haven't like sat down and properly talked to you guys for a while. How's life and how are you? I've been really happy recently. I think last semester was a little bit more difficult. It was like first time actually properly living in my own apartment and stuff like that. Adjusting to living with roommates, kind of like figuring out like social balance and stuff like that. Things finally opened up after COVID. So it was a little bit harder to get a grasp of like how to balance my time and like prioritizing the right things. Like I think last semester I definitely didn't put aside enough time for school and because of that my grades suffered a little bit. But I think after having like that semester to kind of like adjust to everything and then having the break for Christmas, it allowed me to like reset and kind of like figure out how much time I should be spending on each of the aspects of my life and I think I've been doing pretty well recently so because I've been putting more time aside for school and like staying at the library or like going just for two hours before I have like other plans and stuff like that I've like been working harder but it's a lot more rewarding when it pays off with my grades and stuff like that and then it makes all the time that I have with my friends like all the better so overall I feel like I'm doing pretty well I'm really happy with the relationships that I've also built here I think the first year moving abroad and not having like a proper um grasp of like who your close friends are and stuff like that is difficult but i think i've definitely like solidified all my relationships with the people that are important in my life i guess just one of the biggest things i'm working on for myself at the moment is working on my self-esteem a little bit i think i'm really hard on myself sometimes so one of the biggest things that i've just kind of like been trying to focus more on in the last few weeks has been like to stop overthinking as much as I do and stop like criticizing every little thing um, that I do, which has been hard, but it feels really good to then like have a really good day. Yeah, that's it basically. <laughs> Someone asked, how's your major going? Do you know what you want to do after college? If you were curious, I'm studying econ and environment at the moment. I started doing my degree and I honestly wasn't really sure if I wanted to keep going. I had a couple doubts and I was like, do I really enjoy this? Like, can I see myself doing this for the rest of my life? But I think as time has progressed, I've kind of started to enjoy it more. And I don't really have exact post-grad plans, but I definitely have an idea of like things I want to go into. Um, I used to be really interested in environmental policy, but I think I'm kind of moving away from like the law aspect of it. And I want to do something along the lines of like, corporate social responsibility, something like that. And then depending on how the job market is when I graduate, I'm either potentially gonna go straight into doing like an MBA with like sustainable um, business or something like that, or I'm gonna go into doing a job. But I don't know, I haven't figured it all out yet, but I've definitely been enjoying my degree so far. It's really interesting to like feel the knowledge building up, I guess. Somebody asked, how do you manage going out and your schoolwork? I feel like the biggest issue is not the two of those, but I think balancing it with YouTube is what makes it a little bit more difficult. I've definitely been trying to be more active recently. It's been hard. I've definitely had to be a little bit more diligent with like saying no to plans or like knowing I can't, you know, stay out super late one night or whatever because I need to get back home so that I can like edit and upload in the morning and stuff like that. So it's hard, but I feel like I've kind of found my rhythm. I think making goals for things you want to finish every single day is really important because then when you sit down and you start working, you know exactly what you need to get done and when you're done with it, you don't have to worry about it rather than like kind of being like, oh, I could do this reading today, I could do this today, blah, 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 blah. So then when you've like set aside and kind of like created a schedule in your head, it makes it easier to stay on top of stuff. I'm not going to lie, I'm still not the best at this. I will definitely still sacrifice sleep to study sometimes or stay up to edit and whatever. But I think it's just finding like... A balance between everything making sure that you're getting enough of everything to kind of like keep you from burning out too much but still making sure that you're on top of your schoolwork somebody asked do you speak any French living in Montreal I did a French class last semester because I wanted to kind of get at least like a little bit of a grasp of the language it was really hard <laughs> um, so I will not be continuing that because I was so bad at it 
So I did like a semester's worth, but I don't think I would like I, I can recognize words and stuff like that But I like would not be able to have a conversation with someone so No, I do not a lot of people ask me about my love life If I have a boyfriend how my dating experience has been like at McGill I'm currently not in a relationship and I'm not necessarily really looking for one either I think I'm quite busy. I have a lot of things going on and I think I would definitely have to change the way I spend my time if I were to get into a relationship and I would only really be willing to do that for like the right person and someone that I really really got along with. I think dating in uni like you're always meeting new people so there's always like things going on but I've kind of been trying to take a little break from talking to someone constantly. I think it can be <laughs> really draining and it's kind of been a nice break and because I'm kind of like trying to work trying to work on myself <laughs> at the moment um it's been nice i don't know it's been good for me i think but yeah one of the biggest questions i continuously got was whether or not i'm still vegan if you guys have been watching my videos for a while you guys know i like used to do a lot of vegan what i eat in a week and stuff like that but then as of recently i've also been showing myself eating like eggs and i made salmon i think in a video recently as well so to confirm i am no longer completely plant-based but I didn't want to hide that from you guys, so that's kind of like why I've been showing it in my videos and stuff like that, because I didn't want to pretend. <laughs> like, I'm still sticking to everything. I think being at home, it was a lot easier for me to like stick to things when my parents were buying groceries and stuff like that all the time. But then moving out, I realized it's a lot harder to stick to everything, especially long term. And I think for me, it was more sustainable to eat mostly plant-based for a longer period of time than to be super strict with myself for only a few years and then suddenly break and be like, okay, fuck this, I don't wanna do it anymore. So for the most part, I still eat mostly plant-based. I usually only really make exceptions for like eggs and fish sometimes. I never buy like dairy milk or any of that type of stuff. I haven't eaten any meat or anything like that either. So I do still try to stick to it to the best of my ability, but I'm not gonna lie, every now and then I do make exceptions. So yeah, that is my like diet status. Somebody asked, what courses are you taking and do you like them? I really like my classes at the moment, actually. I struggled a little bit last semester because I was taking a French class, which I was like awful at. And I was taking like a calc class as well, which I really didn't like. But this semester, I'm really liking my classes. I'm doing a development economics class and then I'm taking a macro class, which are like basics for my degree. I'm taking a financial institutions class, which I'm finding surprisingly interesting. I actually really like it. Um, I think it's good in general, like even if I don't end up working in finance to have like better financial literacy and stuff like that. And then the final class I'm taking is a cities in the modern world class. It's like an urban studies class that counts for my environment minor, which I really like. It's been really interesting to kind of like learn how cities are set up and how they affect all the different like groups of people that live in them and how they're developing and all of that stuff. Highly recommend taking any of those. Somebody asked, where do you see yourself living in the future? I don't really have an exact plan. I can see myself staying in Canada for a little while, but I definitely like want to continue to move around and live in different places. We will see. Maybe I'll end up living in Europe at some point as well, because obviously I have a EU passport, so I can kind of like have a little bit of freedom with that as well. Somebody asked for upcoming travel plans. I am so excited for summer. Um, I have a couple of different things planned, but nothing's like 100% confirmed. My family's coming to visit though, which I think will be fun. We're going to like a couple of different places in Canada, and then I'm also going to be in New York for a couple days, which should be fun. Um, and then potentially visiting some friends in Europe later. But it's all like very tentative, so I don't know 100% yet, but I think it will be really fun because there's a lot of people that I haven't seen since COVID hit and since everyone moved for uni and stuff. Was it hard for you to adjust to living alone or moving away in general? Um, yes and no. I think I was like very much waiting to leave because I was stuck in Singapore for so long. So I was just so excited to be on my own. But um, I think it definitely took a while for me to like find my footing and like kind of like having to take care of myself completely. Cause initially I was just like, yeah, I can do whatever I want now. And then now I'm kind of like, oh shit, I need to like actually make sure I'm sleeping enough and stuff. Cause my mom is not going to check up on me and be like, did you go to bed early last night? Um, so having to take, take care of myself like that is definitely a big shift, but I really enjoy being on my own. Like I think I like the independence of everything a lot. So as much as it was an adjustment, like 
I'm very glad that it happened and I'm very happy in the place that I'm at now. Somebody asked, do you ever feel like you're running out of time? Interesting. Um, to some extent, I'm like, oh, it's only the beginning of my 20s. Like, I have so many more years ahead of me to do all the things that I want to do. And I do have so many more plans for, like, experiences that I have yet to have. But at the same time, it's also weird that I am 20. I think when I turned 20, I was like, oh my god, I feel old now. And, like, I'm at the end of the semester, I'm over halfway done with my, like, uni life which is really weird because i'm like fuck it feels like it just started so it's like it's a strange feeling i don't know it just feels like i'm getting older and it's happening really quickly but i'm also like really excited for everything that's to come so yeah i don't know i think that's a good question to end off on i think i addressed most of the things that you guys were curious about if you guys feel like i missed out on anything leave that in the comments below and i'll try to answer anything else that you guys wanted to know but yeah hopefully that gives you guys a little bit more insight on like what I've been up to and everything. Let me know if you guys want me to do more of like these sit down chatty style videos um, because I'd definitely be down to film more stuff like this. I'm gonna go because it's St. Patty's Day today and I need to go celebrate with my friends. It's super nice out so I'm excited to go to the park and stuff. I love you guys all to the moon and back and I will see you in my next video. Bye! When I will feel no pain you will have to let me go so I can be myself again. We should know that we won't.